We gotta go over the Lil Uzi Vert snippet that also Squirt Rental posted. So he goes in with all of the snippets and all of the exclusive leak news. Fuck with this guy. Follow him if you haven't already. Squirt Reynolds. Now, he posted this new snippet that I listened to this morning. Let's check it out. I don't know what it's called. Maybe we can find and uh, create our own name from it based on the lyrics that we hear. All right. Your life depends on split second decisions. You better do something, you better do it now. Now, I don't know where this snippet came from. Did it come from like anybody in the leak community and whatnot? Uh, Uzi a demon? Yeah, people were saying that was a super hard snippet. I would agree. I like the song a lot, although it sounds like, I always say this, it sounds like it was recorded with my mom's Hello Kitty pink vibrator because all these snippets, like at least j just like go next to the speaker when you record it. But either way, it's funny and it's a coincidence that this snippet releases or, you know, surfaces, goes a little bit viral. The day after we find out about the Uzi music video that we went over last night, let me find it right here. This joint right here in the ad is like he, there, he's looking for a demon high school or some shit. Let me find it. Yeah. Demon high school students. I could definitely see if Uzi's dropping pink tape and it's like a somewhat halloweeny tape even though pink i don't know why that would relate to being scary whatsoever but he did say in that little uh cambodian wedding i want to say that it was dropping before halloween so if it's dropping uh in october it could be like demon themed even though he was wearing like a a, a cat what was it daft punk helmet wearing that tom something suit but i could see this new snippet being that music video you know especially because if you know uzi and cardi and juice all of these artists like to release completely fresh music that nobody's heard not necessarily things that they've uh previewed i don't understand why like why would you preview music that you don't intend on releasing wouldn't you want to like tease them with the best quality music but yeah so that new demon snippet could be the next music video there's also a new uzi snippet i think we listened to one yesterday or the day before i can't remember and it's be all because uzi's videographer or cameraman that does like the vcr or vhs type recordings he has his own little uh old school camera setup got hacked and so that's where all of these recordings for the uzi snippets are i don't think that the cameraman has any like actual CDQ snippets, so don't expect that coming. Like, don't expect like leaks and whatever. But there is a reason that Uzi, uh, there are more recordings of Uzi like in the car, like busting it down to his new songs and whatnot. Let me find it for y'all. I can't. <laughs> Okay, so this was fashion 2021 and shout out to whoever just subbed. Shout out my guy Goose Size. Hopefully you got a good size on that date, bro. Unless you under 18 and just disregard what I just said. Um, okay, so this Uzi snippet, this is like one of like three or we got rage music all alone. We got a whole bunch more that I have no idea yesterday we had like a demon high school type one we have a mu uzi music video shoot going down so it could be for this fashion song it honestly could be for any of these it'll be for any of these snippets nobody fucking knows i guess we're gonna need someone's cameraman maybe one of y'all one of the uzi detectives maybe someone in the uzi subreddit needs to go to the music video recording and be one of the extras that's getting paid like 400 dollars per 12 hour set times jesus christ that's a lot of money i mean a lot of time for that much money not much money 
uh, and uh, just like record snip, like bring a fucking, I almost bought to vlog glasses with a camera built in. So I'm expecting one of y'all to do that. So we can see a little behind the scenes action of what the music video is going to be before it drops because the pink tape there isn't really that much of a rollout just yet but i don't expect it to be like an eternal it takes situation where he's got like a whole i don't know it doesn't have a whole alien story behind it i feel like pink tape is a mix tape or a sex tape but hopefully a hopefully both maybe the deluxe will be a sex tape with cardi or iggy or britney or uh jt i'd rather see jt because she a little bit more thick but uh i feel like since it's a mixtape it's not gonna it doesn't need as much of a rollout you feel me also somebody in the chat yesterday asked me my predictions for the first week sales for pink tape and then i saw some people arguing on reddit like the uzi and cardi subreddits of like cardi fans saying that uzi was wasn't gonna sell as much as cardi's narcissist i i beg to differ we can say all we want that like Uzi isn't the same or whatever. Cause you know, there are times I agree. There are times I disagree. There are times that Uzi's still going hard. I still like Eternal Take, Lil Uzi Rivers, The World too. And P B Pluto Baby Pluto, which is highly underrated if you ask me, especially the deluxe version of that. That was better than the whole, or like the original Pluto Baby Pluto. But no matter what, Uzi is still a bigger artist than Cardi. Like. Like he's mainstream. Cardi's like still kind of in his niche. He just surpassed 100K. Uzi surpassed 100K with Love Is Rage 2, which was in 2017. And then Uzi just sold 300K with Eternal Take in 2020. So, and then on a collab tape with Future, he sold the same amount as Cardi did with his solo tape or solo album and usually solo albums sell way more because people don't really care as much about collab tapes so Ozzy is selling at least i think at least 150 he's just that big of an artist a lot of people are going to show out and give it a listen and Uzi's mainstream enough where it'll be on the radio boosting up the sales a little bit he's probably gonna he's getting that drake feature or at least we think he is because that snippet. So that's gonna boost it up a lot, even though the Drake feature didn't really help Chirpy Red much. But I don't think a lot of people knew about that considering it dropped like a day after the album released, like on like a the complete edition or some shit. Nobody said Drake is on it. Drake, there was a Drake Uzi snippet in the arcade and I was hearing from people who would know that Drake might be on it. Okay, so. Remember the arcade snippet with Drake in it? Just go back. You can search it on YouTube if you want. Bust a Move is the most favorite song. That's it. Yes, yes. Bust a Move was it. And Baby Sasuke. That shit was hard. Um, You don't want features on Pink Tape? Well, I think, well, he posted Sofago on his story. So I think he's going to put that. And I think with people knowing that Uzi and Cardi are cool again, because they're both rocking the narcissist swag together, going into that club or hotel or I don't even know, brothel, wherever they were going. I think Uzi's gonna put Cardi on it. It's in his best interest to do that because I think Uzi knows that whenever him and Cardi do anything, like shit's gonna be popping. Plus, I think just in general, when Cardi's on a feature, like the Cardi fan base shows out and like sells out the whole or streams the fuck out of it. But no. Cardi has not surpassed Uzi yet. Uzi is selling more than Cardi now. Will I like Narcissist more or Pink Tape? Time will tell because I don't necessarily know just yet how I feel. These snippets lately have been great. The Rage music and then the one today and yesterday. So high expectations for Pink Tape, but it's selling way more than Narcissist because we got to relate Narcissist to Pink Tape in the sense that it isn't like a fully blown out rollout. Uh, you think Uzi is going to be on Fago's tape, but I don't think Fago is going to be on Uzi's tape. Could be. They. All we know is that they probably have a collab. Will it release? Who knows? But Uzi posting him on his story, that's probably what that means. But 
so fago being on a story that was like when i think even uzi said pink tape in the caption on that story and yes i agree robin fenty i'm looking out for more cardi than uzi but i do want uzi because i've been an old school fan or og fan i do want him to make a redemption in like the public's eyes that he's not falling off that he's still that dude you feel me when his love is uzi three dropping shit that is the pink tape. Love is Uzi 3 is the official name for the pink tape. Uzi is not definitely, is most definitely that dude. We'll see. I think we, he's gotta prove it. He's gotta prove it.